What's happening, Magnesites? Now, I'm sure you're wondering, why the fuck are we looking at the back of Tyrone Magnus' head? I'm going to show you why in a second. I made a crucial change, and uh, probably for the worse, but maybe for the better for some of y'all. I don't know what you're going to think, but I'm going to show you. All right. Ready? One, two, three. You notice it? Now, for those of y'all that don't notice, okay, I removed the crustache and beard. All right, it's gone. Ah, right? okay. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Is it better or worse? I can already kind of, it's funny, I can already kind of see everything starting to grow back in. I'm starting to get my Fred Flintstone, my five o'clock shadow. If y'all don't know what none of that shit means, my hair is growing back. But, um, yeah, so, um, I'm going to tell you why I did it. I used to wear a mustache all the time. Never wore, wore a goatee. So, the other day I'm looking at, you know, myself in the mirror. I hadn't gotten a haircut yet or whatever. It's been like two weeks and I've been shaping it myself. So I said, you know, let me, let, let me see what I look like with a, with a mustache. Cut off the, the goatee. And I was just like, man, I look like a fucking porn star. Like, for some reason, it didn't look right. I looked straight out of the 70s or the 60s. Something wasn't right. I don't know. It looked like I was just, it was just like time displacement or something. I looked like I came out of a time capsule. Like I should have been marching with Martin Luther the King or something. Something didn't look right. My hair was all growing out and it had the bushy mud. It, did, it didn't look right. I should have made a video with to show y'all what I looked like. So y'all could have got your laugh on. But, so, my girl has never seen me with my mustache. Okay, what, what I mean with everything shaved off. So I go by her house to see her yesterday because she was sick. Big old bacterial infection all fucked up at the house. So I go by to see her, right? And um, she didn't notice. It was funny. She didn't notice for like literally almost a half hour. She was sitting right next to me talking to me and even noticed. She was like, hey, wait a minute. <gasps> I knew something was different. And so, so she's all like, Makes your lips look real good, though. If I wasn't sick, I'd be all over you. I'm like, see, that's where you're wrong. I'll tell you, tell y'all something. Pump the brakes on back, back, to back the, back the car up for a second. When I walked in, she ain't give a fuck that day because she was sick as hell, right? She looked like a th a thin ass white Aunt Jemima cancer victim, cause she had on this scarf. No makeup, sweatshirt on, laying under these covers. When I got it, I was like, the fuck you do with my girlfriend, man? I'll fuck you. Oh, oh, it's you, babe. Hey, oh, you almost got fucked up. I thought you was a criminal that had taken my girlfriend, chopped her up and put her in the closet. You should have seen what she looked like. But anyway, she wasn't going to get none that day. Um, but <laughs> so apparently she liked it. She thought I still looked good with it. Now, look. When I walked up in the barber shop to get my hair cut, because I had already cut it off, they was already making fun of me. They said I looked like a little kid. They said I looked just like my brother. Now my brother doesn't wear a mustache or beard. Or he once in a while he'll wear like a really thin mustache. This doesn't really grow in the way mine does, I don't think. But uh yeah, so they're all making fun of me. We don't trust nobody. They ain't got no mustache, man, and you know, this and that. I remember when I was in high school when I cut it off, everybody said I looked like Roscoe from Martin. You remember Roscoe, when he played Roscoe, he always had like just snot on his nose, but he always cover up his mustache. I don't know. I had one barber make fun of me, he said I looked like I had like a, a caveman monkey mouth or something like that. He said I looked like this. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means, but I guess it look, kind of looks like my lips gone or something like that. I don't know. One time I shaved my head and my mustache, okay? And when I did that, I, uh, <laughs> one of my girlfriends was on her way over. She didn't know that I had shaved everything. So I had one of them doors. You know one of them doors where, um, just windows at the top? Okay, so I was coming down the stairs because she had rang the doorbell. And all from outside, I could just hear her saying, Oh my God! 
tell me you did not. She went crazy. She, she was just sitting there looking at me. I remember she was sitting there looking at me on the bed. She was just sitting there talking to me. She was like, I don't even want to kiss you. You're ugly like this. You're ugly. <laughs> I was just like, thanks, thanks, babe, for making me feel good. I don't know, you know. Um, I've always wanted to go with the clean look because um, I get tired of shaping the, the mustache and beard. I get tired of the itch once in a while. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Majority of time, it's easy to deal with as long as it's trimmed for me. I can't stand a lot of hair on my face, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know what? Since I have everything shaved, maybe I look more like my inspiration. My role model. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Finally, The Rock has come back to YouTube in Tyro Magnus form with no mustache, clean shaven. We all think. No? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I should keep it. Maybe I shouldn't. Post your comments below. Let me know what y'all think about keeping it. One last thing it was funny. When I shaved my head and my mustache, when I went to work that day, I used to wait tables. And one of the managers saw me. By the way, all the girls in there flipped out. They were like, no, no, no. One girl says she liked it. Short, fat, portly, hair to around here, big glasses, told me she liked it. That was my, <laughs> that was my cue to grow my mustache and beard back. There was a manager we had, Asian dude, six foot fucking four. I don't know how I got that tall, right? was laughing his ass off. All of a sudden, like, I'm just talking to some people, you know, while I'm working, and I just hear this laugh. And I didn't notice it at first. And he was laughing like this at me. <laughs> he did that laugh. I'm telling you, for like two minutes. He could not stop laughing when he saw me. So, anyway, like I said, hope y'all have fun with me going out memory lane with my bald head and my bald face. Tell me what you think, with or without. Should I keep it? Let me know. Talk to you later.